In this video, I would like to talk about the relationship between uh, pointers and arrays, and uh, I'd like also to talk about pointer arithmetic. So what I'm doing here is that I'm declaring an array of three integers, uh, and I'm initializing this uh, array with the values 1, 2, 3. So 1 goes to the first element, that is array of 0. One goes to this, uh, 2 goes to the second element, which is array of 1 and 3 goes to the third element, which is array of 2. Now, on most systems, an integer is 4 bytes. Uh, therefore, the allocation here is a 12 bytes. And arrays are uh, allocated contiguously, meaning the elements are allocated next to each other. So this is how uh, this allocation looks like. Um, so 12 bytes, the first 4 bytes are used for array of 0, the second 4 bytes are used for array of 1, and the third 4 bytes are used for array of 2. With the initialization that I have, 1 is stored here, 2 is stored in, over these 4 bytes, and 3 is stored here. Now in C++, the name of the array uh, acts like a pointer to the first element. So if I know that it acts like a pointer to the first element, I can access the first element through the pointer. How do I do this? I just go ahead and dereference that pointer. So if I just say star array, that is going to give me the first element, which I know that I can also access using the array notation, which is array of zero. In C++, if I add a value to a pointer, let's say I want to add one to array, that creates a pointer that points one element away from where array points. Now, an element is four bytes. By doing this, that basically makes a pointer that points four elements away to make it point to the first, uh, actually to the second element. So if I dereference this pointer, if I say star array plus one between parentheses because I want to make sure that the addition is done first and then dereferencing, this is going to give me whatever this pointer points to, which is the second element. And I know that this is the same as array of one. Similarly, if I say array plus two, this is going to give me a pointer that points two elements away from where array points. So array points here, two elements away, that is eight bytes away. So basically, that is going to be array plus two. Now, if I want to get whatever that pointer points to, I can just go ahead and dereference it. So star array plus two, that is going to give me the third element, which is the same as array of two. So as you can see, in general, this is array plus zero, right? So in general, I can uh, have a formula that says array plus i is the same, if I just dereference it, is the same as array of i. So there is a strong relationship between the two, and I can actually use the uh, uh, array notation or the pointer notation the way I'd like, okay? So let me see this uh, in action. Let me write code. So I have this array, and I would like to iterate over the array using the pointer notation, right? So I'm going to create a loop, teacher i equals zero, as long as i is less than three, in this case, i plus plus, um, and I would like to print that element using uh, the, array, the pointer notation. So um, std c out, and then I could just say array plus i, okay? Uh, so that's array plus i, and then let's just get a new line here, okay? Now, on the first iteration, i is going to be zero. So star array plus zero, that is basically star array, which is array of zero, first element. When i is equal to 1, that's going to be array plus 1, which we have agreed that it's the same as array of 1. And then uh, on the um, third iteration, when i is equal to 2, 
this is going to be array plus two and then dereferencing this is going to give us the third uh, element so let me just save this and uh, compile and run just to verify that it actually iterates over the array so I can iterate over the array using the pointer notation or using the traditional uh, array notation now while I can use the name of the array as a pointer uh, the name of the array is not a regular pointer um, what that means is that I cannot actually change what the name of the array points to right so let's say I want to just move the uh, name of the array one element away which we usually do it by adding one uh, to a pointer this is actually going to be an error this is not allowed okay because it's just a, it's not a regular pointer it's just a name of the array but we can use it um, like a pointer it's called a pseudo pointer it's not a pointer so I can just go ahead and compile this as you can see it says uh, this is not assignable you cannot assign it to something you cannot change it alternatively what I could do if I want to iterate over the array using a pointer that I can change uh, I can start with uh, assigning a separate pointer uh, PTR I can assign it to uh, array if I do this array points to the first element so PTR is also going to be pointing to the first element so however this pointer is just a regular pointer so I can change it I can add one to it to make it point to the second element or add one to it two to it to make it point to the third element so let's just do that let's just go ahead and declare a separate pointer called PTR and initialize it with array and let's iterate over this uh, array using this uh, additional pointer um, so I'm going to create a loop integer i equals zero i is less than three uh, i plus plus and uh, what I'm going to do here is basically print we just copy this and I'm going to be printing it using PTR so I'm going to say star PTR and when I'm done here I'm going to just go ahead and increment PTR so I'm going to say PTR equal PTR plus one to make it point to the next element so in the first iteration it, it points to the first element and then goes to the next element so next iteration I'm going to be printing the next element so obviously I can make this uh, using uh, the increment uh, operator so I can do PTR plus plus instead of this now by doing this um, I can also iterate over the array so let's just go ahead compile this run it and as you can see we're also so we iterating we iterated over the array twice so that's for the first loop and this is um, for the second loop um, I must say that pointer arithmetic usually makes sense when a pointer is operating on an array so if if a pointer is not operating in an array where elements are contiguous going to the next element by incrementing the pointer usually doesn't make sense because there is no next element uh, there must be an array that is allocated contiguously uh, for me to operate on it using pointers uh, utilizing pointer arithmetic so that's it for this uh, uh, topic and I'll see you in the next video